Almost immediately, a giant reptilian talon came down upon her. Wielding her mace high above her head, she clashed against it, deflecting its claws in sparks of metal. She whirled the weapon about, trying to strike upon the behemoth's abdomen, but a colossal axe swooped down upon her and parried her attack. She swung around, twirling like a dancer, as the enemy tried to take her down, feverishly dodging every assault that came her way. Alas, she pounced into the air as the blade arced under her. Catching onto the trees, she continued running. Try again, she dared. The trees started collapsing in her wake as the behemoth rammed his fists into them. Crashing trunks fell upon the ground, but she persisted in her furious, furious stride. Wings might have been helpful at the moment, but unfortunately, nature had not endowed her with any. She hurried out to the canopies of the forest. Standing upon the very apex of a tree, she glimpsed the landscape to the horizon. Far in the distance, whitish pointed hilltops reached to the sky, forming a chain of mountains, the fangs of Astinor. She was headed straight to them, and if she went there, she would never come back. Not with two of her greatest enemies on her tail, anyway. Suddenly, a rapier lashed at her face. She ducked just a split second before it hit her. The other draconic opponent flew over her, flapping its wyvern wings as it swiped its weapon madly downward. Too close to her enemy, Lycanel thrust her talons out, blocking the rounded foil with her forearms. Her dermal layer chipped as it struck her, and she tried to gain an opportunity to counterattack. Nonetheless, the wyvern was too fast, and it delivered a slash that wrapped the foil around her arm and sliced her across the cheek.